Hi guys, I'm Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a weekly reading for Virgo. <laughs> so I want to give a shout out to um, Connie and Dean for the beautiful, uh, I think it's called kimono. Oh. <laughs> I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but um, yeah, it's very beautiful and you can interchange it. It's black on the inside. It's reversible. It's beautiful. Anyways, thank you for letting me borrow that. I just wanted to give a shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we'll get right into the reading. Let's see. For Virgo. I'll stick that back there. All right. What can you tell me? Yeah, walking away from somebody. So somebody's ending cycles, and it's common right now with retrograde. So uh, that's cycles ending and new ones beginning. For Virgo, oh, we have the sweetheart here, the queen of cups, the nurturer, the compassionate, loving. Hmm, somebody wants to give a cup of love. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Hmm. Maybe some obstacles in the way, but you are protected. Or your girl is. Your queen of cups is. I shouldn't say woman because just because it's a queen doesn't mean it's not a male embody embodying the female side. Oh, we have a counterpart here. Oh, another ace. Holy shit. All right, Virgo. We have... King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, that is a divine union, a soulmate maybe, could be a flame, a twin flame, um, very passionate, very loving, and there's protected, what else, for Virgo please, this is nice to see. <laughs> Okay, well, somebody's having some hardship here. Maybe abandonment issues. They're in their head a bit about that. Maybe they don't have a lot of money right now. But they are happy regardless. Emperor is there on the bottom of the deck. So. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, hell, eh? Son of a gun. It's too good to be true for all that shit going on. King of Cups on the bottom there. Five of Cups. So somebody's having heartbreak. It could be this Emperor that is the person that somebody walked away from, whether it's the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups. And keep in mind they're just showing up um, in their masculine side or feminine side. Uh, seven of Wands. So maybe there was shady ass behavior that this emperor did to the Queen of Cups. Yeah, the in and out Knight of Wands. So wasn't really wanting to commit, but you are. You're bringing the love, the cup of love, and the passion here. You just want to be happy. Whether you're the king or the queen, you know your story. Let's see. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Hmm. Looks like you're charging in. Knight of Swords, yep. Coming in hot and blazing. Oh, yeah! Ha ah, ha! That is the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah. You want your Wheel of Fortune. It's turning in your favor. Hmm. Knight of Wands action going on here. So it could be that this. Uh, Queen of Cups walked away from the Emperor and they're coming back in because that wheel is turning just to have a little bit of action get them in bed whether you're the Queen of Cups or your person is what's the Queen of Cups about please why is she here Aww. she's very beautiful very sunny Loving dip disposition, very patient, could be healing as well. 
she's wounded. She's the wounded warrior, so she's been hurt. She could be healing too. Hmm. We have the uh, King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles could be someone else coming in to offer a pentacle here. Maybe to work with this person, this queen. What's the ace of cups? Oh yeah, queen of pentacles. There's another divine union here. Maybe you have the choice between two people. And it depends who you want to pick. Hmm. Because you will have to put an ending to something here. Whether it's the queen of pentacles, looks like it. Yeah, because there's two women here. Two women or two men or whoever, because you know your story. But the death card here tells me that uh, this king and queen of pentacles is has got to end. Yeah, and I think you know that. Virgo, you can see that already. You know that already. You see the truth. What's going on? Yeah, King of Wands is here as well. Somebody's standing their ground though. Whether that's you or this, your person. Could be the Queen of Cups that is being protected right now and is standing up for herself. Maybe she has other people coming in for her. Could be you coming in. Hmm. If you're the Emperor, you could be any one of these kings. But I don't feel that. I feel like this Emperor was with this Queen of Wands. And I feel like they're coming back to cause some shit here. Trying to play on her emotions, knowing that she's wounded warrior. And something else is going on here with her. It looks like somebody's ending something to give her a cup of love. But she sees. She sees stuff. She knows. The King of Wands is here too. Wow, she's pretty damn popular, I gotta tell you that much. Let's see. Yeah, see, there's secrets and regret here. And she's standing up for herself against all these people that are coming in for her, trying to give her offers. She might. She might take this financial offer. I don't know though, because there's love here too. They don't just want to work with her, with the pentacle. They want to give her love too. Maybe that's you. She's standing up for herself against these shady ass people. Has to do with your future as well, because this is landing on the king of cups. And if you are the king of cups and your queen of cups is your girl, or your person, doesn't necessarily have to be a woman either, um, has to do with what, what path are you going to take. You know, there's some competition here in, <laughs> for your girl or for your person. That's too many spirit. Can I get one more card? Yeah, it has to do with the Emperor. He keeps coming back to sabotage things for her. And she, it looks like he sabotages this for her. And possibly this as well. And then he's coming back to try to sabotage your future with her. With the Queen of Cups. And your soulmates. Yeah, long term, passionate love. What else, Spirit? What's the Ace of Wands, please? Yeah, 
That's what I thought. Tower. You walk away. You want the long term. And she's not... This tower, I feel, is for this emperor. She she walks away from him, and he keeps coming back to cause shit. What's the vibe of pentacles? Yeah, he wants her to be in lack. Could be revenge. Yeah, he has regret here. Yeah. Heartbroken. Ah, he's coming back as he's getting karma. He wants a victory and wants to work with her. Ah, wants to even marry her. And he knows she's wounded, but he's got lots of options. And he feels like he missed his chance because he was doing third party. And she knew it. And she's got money now. And he's sad about it. Maybe he's done the work, but maybe he was too slow. And it looks like he just wants the pentacles. Yeah. He wants to be happy with her. But I think, yeah. He's just going to take from her because she goes from the Ten of Cups to the Nine of Cups. And then we have the trickster here. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is not. No. I don't believe she's meant to be with this emperor. And I don't think the emperor is you. I think that's who's coming back in to cause all this shit for this person. Yeah. This is all going to go down. Looks like all at the same time, Virgo. It's it To me, it's all one big mind fuck. <laughs> to put it bluntly. Pardon my French. <laughs> I don't speak French, by the way. <laughs> um, hangman. Need a different perspective because of the lack mentality in finances, whether that is you or your person. There's an offer of a pentacle, though. Whether you're offering that or they... Oh, with some marriage, but where's the love? You're in your head about this. Why? Ah, you're doing the hermit, man. Hmm. Because you know there has to be some truth that has to come. Maybe you have to speak a truth here. Or be true to yourself. Get out of your head. Virgo, please. That's too many spirit. I'll take that one. Yeah, you're queen of wands. Hmm. Somebody else is here. Why is the Queen of Wands here? What's that about? That's the Queen of Wands. Hmm. She wants a union with you. We're gonna have to make a choice. Looks like between two. Between your Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands. When you're watching somebody, what's the Sun card? Mmm, love. You're gonna give somebody love, but you're gonna have to make a choice. Did you pick the right person? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles? I'd say you did. <laughs> With the Sun? Oh, yeah. You're watching this person. They may not even know you're watching. You may not have even come forward. You might have witnessed all this shit go down. Who did you choose? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> yeah, you're going to move quickly. Looks like it might be a Capricorn. So I don't feel it, and with that bell, I didn't mean to hit my cup. <laughs> but that kind of confirms me that it's a Capricorn. It's not necessarily toxic because we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun with the Ace of Cups. This is a divine union. This is coming from the, the, the Most High. Okay? Uh, and you. 
you're gonna choose right you're gonna have to use your heart though it's gonna have to come from the heart okay nine of cups wow so you have the ten of pentacles and the nine of cups there wow looks like you're going to choose right but you're gonna have to use your intuition on that and depending on where you are on this timeline here I mean you could already be halfway through you could be just starting this uh, you could already be closer to the end or this could all be in the past um, it depends on you uh, time is fluid right so and it doesn't wait for no one so maybe maybe you um your Queen of Cups got a marriage offer. I'm kind of feeling that. And you're doing your inner work and you're not being true to yourself because you're with this Queen of Wands. Or maybe you're in another union. But you'll make a choice. A choice to be happy. You're watching somebody. So if you're watching someone else and you're in a union with the Queen of Wands, it shouldn't be a hard choice because if you're looking at someone else, this isn't your person. Just saying. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. <laughs> you got your work cut out for you, depending on where you are here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell you, though, I am taking... Um, for a limited time, I'm going to tell you that, I'm already booking into June, okay? I'm going to open up my private readings, and I take PayPal, and I do e-transfer at this time, and it's through Zoom, okay? So you can go to the description box below, and uh, only in my description box, if somebody is doing any comments saying that they'll do, um, that it's me, and I'm offering a reading. It's not in where you put your comments. It's in the description box and you'll have to scroll down from there, okay? And I've got my prices in there, I believe, and I have my email, okay? So just click on the link and that will bring you to me uh, and I will give you the information you need and the link to do the reading. All right, take care.